You know that feeling when someone tells you to just calm down and it somehow makes you more upset, or when you know logically there's nothing to worry about but your body's still tense and your heart's still racing. That's because your nervous system doesn't care what you think, it's got its own agenda. Dr. Stephen Porges is a neuroscientist who developed something called polyvagal theory, and he's got this quote that explains exactly what's happening. Safety is the treatment. What he means is your nervous system is constantly scanning for danger, even when you're not consciously aware of it. He calls this neuroception. It's like your body's threat detector running in the background all the time. Here's how it works. Porges describes three states your nervous system can be in, and you can think of it like a ladder with three levels. At the top, you've got what he calls the ventral vagal state. This is when you feel safe and connected. Your heart rate's calm, you can think clearly, you're socially engaged. This is where you want to be. In the middle, you've got the sympathetic state. This is fight or flight. Your body's mobilized for action, heart racing, muscles tense, ready to defend or escape. You're not thinking clearly here, you're just reacting. At the bottom, there's the dorsal vagal state. This is shutdown mode. When fight or flight doesn't work, your system just collapses. You feel numb, frozen, disconnected. It's your body's last resort. And here's what Porges found. You can't think your way up the ladder. You can't just tell yourself calm down when you're in fight or flight. Your body needs to feel safe first. Then your thinking brain comes back online. So what does that actually mean? It means safety cues matter. Things like a calm voice, predictable routines, physical touch, and slow breathing. These aren't just nice-to-haves, they're neurological signals that it's safe to move back up the ladder. This applies to parenting, relationships, even how you talk to yourself. Safety isn't soft, it's the foundation for everything else. Follow me here at Step Change Living for more practical tools and insights to help you create a life that feels more intentional, one step at a time.